good morning near my seven o'clock appointment. Okay, great. Uh, well, my name is Violet and I'm going to be giving you a little bit of a shave and uh, cleaning your face and giving you a little bit of makeup uh, for your role today. Okay, well, um, I did look over the notes from the producers and it does seem like we're just going to have to accentuate your features a little bit uh, to make sure that when they change the lighting and saturation in post um, that you will still look normal and people will be able to see um, your features. Okay, great, all right. And let's see, you do have a little bit of some stubble that we need to definitely take care of. Um, so before I get started, I'm just going to run a gentle, um, oil-free makeup cleanser all over your face. Um, I don't know if you have any makeup on from previous roles uh, in the days past, but uh, even if not, it's really good at taking away the germs and dirt that might be on your skin just from sleeping and living, so, okay. just keep your eyes closed for me. I'm just going to sweep this all over your face here. under your chin as well, since we are going to be shaving down to the neck. Okay. Alright, good. take is to move right into the shaving. Um, I do have a soothing aloe um, shave gel today. It's a cream actually. Um, I don't know if you have sensitive skin, but if you do, this will be really helpful in making sure that there's no redness or uh, inconsistencies afterwards. So, you okay with that? Okay, good. And do you have any skin sensitivities or allergies that you're aware of? Well, do just let me know if anything feels uncomfortable at any point, okay? It shouldn't. All of the products that I brought are very um, gentle. Yeah, never know what your client's gonna be like, so better be safe than sorry. Alright, so first thing I'm gonna do is just apply this equally. I am going to be shaving rather high up 
and a lot of times we get those baby hairs around our temples and things or just some fuzz your lips for me. nice and defined. Put some to your cheeks here. looks good. Let me just go ahead and rinse off the excess and I'll be right back. So to go grab this um, lavender spray, I'm going to mist your face with this later just because it's very calming. It helps with any jitters or anything. Not that you necessarily have them, but won't hurt, right? Okay, so let's get started shaving. I'm going to pop on a fresh blade here. sterile towel that I'm going to be using to blot away the shaving cream and any excess hair and then I'm going to use another hot towel after we uh, exfoliate your face when we're done shaving to just kind of steam everything and make sure that your skin is nice and clean since it's going to be freshly exposed. Just tilt your chin up for me. Hide your lips for me. Pull 
pull your bottom lip up. Good. I'm gonna get to those baby hairs around the temple now and just gonna make sure you have a nice Until you're done up to the other side for me now. exfoliating scrub I was talking about on your face, okay? So this is just a Neutrogena. Um, the reason why I use this product again is just because it's very friendly for sensitive skin. And no matter who you are, right after you've had a shave, that skin is more raw than usual. I'm just going to be using a little, little bit, um, and this is a very gentle exfoliator, and it smells really nice, like um, citrusy, so it's not too floral or distracting, it's very fresh. And I'm just going to make sure that I... on every area that we have exposed and I'm also going to get the rest of your face as well just to make sure any leftover dirt or anything is taken care of before we do your this process something you're used to, you do often. Okay, good. Well, congratulations on getting the part. It's exciting. Do you usually do just cameos and... Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, well there's a lot of politics involved business, any kind of business really, but yeah. So, the important part is though that you're here now. Okay. Good. I'm going to grab that other hot towel now. And we're just going to steam and sterilize your face. At the same time, I'm going to be gently, gently uh, patting away a little bit, um, rubbing, but not much because we don't want that exfoliation to be too intense and cause you any pain. So I'll just wrap your face here for a second. Get a nice warm over your 
face one more time. So next on our list is going to be a little bit of moisturizing. Oops. Um, I want to make sure that your skin is healing. I've got this little container of a nice soft moisturizing cream and just gonna apply this all over your face and it does look really nice scent that's very complimentary with the citrus and later when we layer the lavender on top it's gonna be just really calming soothing your skin is gonna be nice and calm and clean a separate little eye cream that I'm going to use. It's important. I have to use a different moisturizer for your eyes because they are the skin around them I should say is much more sensitive. So this one is a little clear um, jelly type moisturizer. I'm just gonna emulsify it a little bit here in my fingers. And now I'm going to just pat it under your eyes so if you could look up for me. from your brow line onto your eyelid. Look up again. Good. Okay, perfect.
So the first thing I'm going to do here is touch up your eyebrows a little bit. I'm going to start with this little razor. This is not very uh, sharp, but it's very effective. I'm going to get right in between your brows here. I'm also going to do the top part where those baby hairs continue from the temples. And um, this will essentially make your eyebrows look a lot more defined uh, because when the hair has that nice crisp edge, uh, it looks fuller and more prominent than it does if you don't, um, whether or not you have very fair eyebrows or very dark ones. Okay, so if you just want to hold still for me. middle and right here at the top okay and on the other side I'm going to brush your eyebrows up and then I'm going to use my little scissors to cut across and make sure that the top line of your hair is even, that you don't have any sticking out, which is common. So. Now I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to brush them down and I'm going to take the curved side and cut across to make sure that all of your hairs are falling evenly at the bottom as well. Good. I'm just going to brush them back to their normal state. Great. Okay. Now I'm going to use the tweezers to get any little stray baby hairs, okay? Okay, that looks really great. Okay, great. Alright, so next I'm going to take some brightening. Um, it's technically concealer. And it is a very, very light shade. But I'm going to put it on this little foam um, blender here. 
and I'm just going to pat it in so it is going to mix in with your own skin tone and be barely noticeable but when you're on camera it's going to add a little bit of light reflection that's going to make your under eyes look nice and bright okay okay so this is a Yves Saint Miracle I'm just going to take the tiniest bit here And if you can look up for me again. Okay, so I had to keep looking up. Perfect. I'm just going to do a little in between your eyebrows as well. Excellent. Okay. Next, I'm going to take a powder that is, again, it's a bright color. Um, can be used as an eyeshadow as well. This one is um, my favorite though for covering the face because it is pretty translucent um, and it goes with everyone's skin tone which is nice but it also gives you that boost and makes your skin just look healthy and kind of glowing uh, which is you know maybe not what every man wakes up in the morning and thinks about but when you're on camera <laughs> You'll notice the difference um, if you have a ruddy complexion. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna sweep this lightly all over and kind of go up into your hairline and towards your ears a little bit even because we do want this to look really natural. your lips for me. Good. I'm gonna get your eyelids very gently, very gently. Do some little feather strokes across your forehead here. And same along your chin as well. Okay. I'm gonna go in with brush again and just kind of make sure that it's all smooth. I'm going to do circular buffing motions. This is just going to really make sure that it's not noticeable at all. Do you know what time you guys are going to start filming? We've still got half an hour then, so I'll make sure that you're ready. We don't have to do too much more to do, so that's good. I do start. I'm starting to hear people showing up though, so I don't want you to miss any of the fun. So we will just carry straight on to your makeup then.
trying to decide earlier what um, eyeshadow I want to use. I'm not going to give you like a full look, of course, but going with some nude sort of brown um, paste colors can really, really enhance the look of your eye. Um, just doing a very fine amount around your eyelash area and on the lid a little bit. Um, so I was trying to see which color I think would work best for you. And I think... to the same color, actually, that I'm liking. Um, I think the palette from Positions Formula is a little less shimmery. So I'm going to use this just so that we don't have all that light reflecting too much and making it really obvious. I'm just going to take some of this sort of peachy color. If you could close your eyes for me. brush. Oops. Go. I'm going to grab just a little bit more, a tiny bit more of this color and mix it with a little bit of a darker color. And if you'll keep your eyelids closed for me again, I'm just going to buff this around and make it seem nice and natural. this um, milk makeup stick. It can technically be used as a blush or lip color and I'm going to put the teeniest amount on both your cheeks and your lips. So I'm just going to use my finger and pat a little bit of the pigment onto my finger and then I'm just going to Gently sort of sweep and blot this in on your cheekbone. And this is just gonna again make sure that when they change out the lighting balance that you're not gonna look like a ghost. <laughs> So, I'm going to do your lips now. You can just keep them very relaxed. Just going to kind of bounce this along your lips. Perfect. Can you go like this? in that color and also to keep you nice and hydrated. Okay. 
good. If you can, yep. Okay. And really the last thing we need for makeup is to do your eyelashes. Uh, we're not gonna do any sort of liner or anything that drastic. But we're gonna curl and put on a teeny bit of mascara. And that's just gonna keep your eyelashes, again, noticeable, not too noticeable. So, have you ever had your eyelashes curled before? Okay, it's really simple. You just kind of allow me to place this around your lashes, and then I'm going to squeeze down for just a few seconds. Um, let's count to maybe seven, and then I'll let go. So don't blink during that time. Don't try to move your eye or your head. Just stay very still. I promise I'm going to be very careful to make sure that I have all your lashes in the proper place before I squeeze down. If you do blink as I'm doing that, it can pull some of these hairs and be pretty painful. So um, let's just try to be calm, <laughs> okay? All right, so try this eye first. Perfect. One. you to do is look up but not too drastically. Okay. I'm just gonna apply a teeny teeny bit of this. You can close your eyes for me. Again, not too hard, just gently. Okay. Slip out dry a little bit. Okay, good. And if you could just look straight ahead, I'm just gonna clean up any of the little excess spots. is our lavender setting spray. So if you could just uh, close your eyes for me, I'm going to cover your mouth and nose a little bit and your eyes a little bit uh, just to make sure that I don't get any of this in your uh, passageways too intensely because that might be a little uncomfortable. But I'm going to make sure I get most of your skin okay. So you are good to go. Still have about 15 minutes. All right. And if you need anything else, you need any touch-ups, just let me know. And my name is Violet, and I'll be on set. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, and it was very nice meeting you. I hope that you have a great shoot, and I believe I'll likely see you in the upcoming days as well.